Welcome to First at Four. I'm Grant Sweeter. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. One day after 36 new COVID-19 cases were announced, South Dakota saw another significant increase in the number of new positive cases. On Friday, the State Department of Health announced a total of 187 positive coronavirus cases in the state. There were 22 new cases announced, while recoveries increased by 12 cases to 69 total. Governor Kristi Noem says the state is in a very fluid situation. This caveat was shared before she released projections for how the virus will impact the state in what she described as a palms-up conversation with South Dakotans. Noem said the dates and models are very dynamic. She also said thanks to early measures put into place, including social distancing, South Dakota won't reach a peak until the middle or end of June. That's when the most South Dakotans will be sick. She said these measures will need to stay in place until August. Review, realign, and reassess. Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenaken says those are the steps that he and his city staff are following as new information on COVID-19 is confirmed. As of Friday, Minnehaha and Lincoln, the two counties that make up Sioux Falls, had 97 confirmed cases and only 18 recoveries. Tenaken said cases will continue to grow and grow. He said the city is focusing on flattening the curve for when those caseloads continue to grow. A COVID-19 test that gives results in 90 minutes is now being used by Sanford Health in both Sioux Falls and Fargo, North Dakota, the healthcare system announced on Friday. The rapid tests are being used for the highest priority patients, which includes people who are hospitalized, healthcare workers, and people living in long-term facilities. The addition of rapid tests increased Sanford's testing capabilities to 1,500 tests per week. And at Kelland.com original, now online, we're trying to fill the void that was left behind following the postponements of sports in America. Kelland.com live-streamed 53 games this year, including football and basketball. Most of the games were highly competitive, but we have narrowed it down to the top six games from this year's sports season. You can see the full list of games and watch the full games right now on Kelland.com. From the Capitol News Bureau in Pierre, the federal centers for Medicare and Medicaid services have temporarily relaxed rules because of COVID-19, including letting optometrists see patients through telehealth apps such as FaceTime and Skype. The South Dakota Board of Examiners in Optometry adopted a policy Friday to align with these CMS changes. The change affects about 240 license holders in South Dakota. Kelland's Capital News Bureau reporter Bob Mercer has more on this story right now on Kelland.com. Scroll down in the first at four story for a look at today's chilly forecast from the Kelland Live Doppler HD Storm Center. That's first at four on this Friday afternoon. I'm Grant Sweeter. For the latest updates, download the Kelland News app. We'll be right back.